Hi everybody, I'm back again. This is, what, two days in a row. It is a record for me, but thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to get right to an unboxing from Catch and Deals General Merchandise. Now, before you say, wait, how did he get a Catch and Deals box? Just want to say that I've had this box for a while, and I have just gotten around to opening it. Okay, so without further ado, except one ado, except one ado before we before we start. Yesterday I opened a retail regulators box, and. I posted yesterday the puzzle that I ended yesterday's unboxing with. And lo and behold, today it's sold already. So we're off to a good start with retail regulators. But so much for them today, it's all catching deals. All catch and deals. So what, I wonder what we have in here. Now I have never, okay, let me just say, let me just say that you're going to see me look kind of wild eyed like I'm not looking at you. Well, that's because there's a kind of a new camera set up here and uh, I wasn't even used to the old one, and now we got something new. So if I seem a little wild-eyed, that's my excuse. Anyway, catch and deals. Let's see what you gave me this time. Here we have a Kemi professional hair clipper. Professional hair clipper. I like that. It's off to a good start. It is sealed. The cellophane's a little bit wonky, but that's fine. Oh, these always do very well. It is Venom Assault, Villains and Valor. I'm assuming... I'm assuming... It's a game, and we already established before, I'm not a gamer, so I'll have to really figure out uh, exactly what platform this game is for. But as you can see, all sealed, brand new. And here, oh, we have a digital multimeter, 6,000 counts. And if you're an electrician, you'll know what a multimeter is. But if you're a YouTuber, I have to do more research. Moving right along, what do we have? Oh, look, look. Oh, this is making me hungry. But the, oh, look at that glare. Oh, my goodness. See, it's not easy for me to get the glare off. But anyway... Look, there are five lures in here, and they look really, they look really nice. No, there are six. I think there are six. Next, what do we have? We have, we have a flashlight. We have a nice looking flashlight that has a clip on it. See that? It's called an Olight. For some reason, I'm enamored with flashlights. Uh, I think I always have been, and I'm not sure why there would be there would be better things to be enamored with. But um, I guess on the flip side, there are worse things to be enamored with. I would just be happy if I could learn how to put things back 
where I got them. I never learned that from, from my childhood either. Well, we're just going to put it down there. What's next? Oh my goodness, look. Look, look, look. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Hammersmith Odeon, London, 1970. My camera just froze. For no reason, my camera just froze. As I was saying, when the camera froze, Bruce String, <laughs> no, that's not what I was saying. Bruce Springsteen, London, 1975. And it is open, but this is just a very nice, a very nice CD package here. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to show it to you, but I do see there are multiple CDs in here, and someone is going to like this, whether used or not. I will, I will check it out. Oh, look at this. From the My Little Pony movie. It is Twinkle Sparkle Sea Pony. Oh, look at that. I, I am eventually going to figure out how I can do this and keep the glare off, but I don't know that it's going to be in this unboxing. This is a fantastic, fantastic box. I wish it'd be easier to secure. And we have another Olight. This one appears to be a little bit different, but very nice. And on we go, and we're not even, we're not even, a, blah, 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 blah. we're not even making a dent in this. It must be flashlight time. Oh, no, never mind. This isn't a flashlight. I need to get flashlight out of my mind now. This is a cordless mini heat gun. Cordless mini heat gun with a barcode, so that should be easy to get more details about. And then we have an ultrasonic anti-bark device, and I believe I know what this is. It is, it's a little doghouse that you hang up, and when a dog barks, it emits a signal that's not pleasant to their ears, and allegedly, it's to stop them from barking. No dogs were hurt in the making of this video. I believe we have a 1080p camera and I believe what this is, I'm going to look, well, and I, I probably should show you also, oh, well, this is, this is just the charger, uh, and we have uh, a TV lens video camera. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here, because this is like, you probably can't see through the paper, but this is like a little, well, it's not like a little, it is a little... A little lens just like you would just like you would put on a big expensive camera so this might be this I don't know I am just mumbling all over the place rambling but not saying anything and this this is as confusing as the other parts. So, more research to be done, but obviously there is no, that I see, there's really no camera in here. But it does look 
expensive. Let's, oh, these are so packed in here. Thank you, Catch and Deals. I have some heavy stuff in here, though, that might end up going out at a yard sale when the weather gets better. This is, uh, this is a heavy surge protector with eight outlets, and it's called Protected. It had to be a return, so we're going to check that out, make sure it works without burning anything down. Next, we have, oh my goodness, this stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. The, here we have, look, it is exactly what it says. Forgive the dust that's all over this. Look, it is a BB gun. Now, I don't know where this is or is not allowed to be sold, but oh my goodness, this is, um, and it comes complete with a few BBs, but that's a really snazzy BB gun. My hands, my hands, they're getting dirty. I'm not supposed to ever let my hands get dirty. This is a nice yellowish box. Tissue paper on the top. Do we have any signs of what it, of what may be inside? Well, it kinda, kinda has a, oh, oh, well, oh. Oh my goodness. This, if it's in here, I know that brand, Invicta, is a high-price watch company, which I've never had an Invicta, but then again, it's not, all, but not about me, is it? The watch is in here. Look at this. Watch with tags. Can you, oh say, can you see? Isn't this wonderful? Nice band, sparkly band. Oh my gosh. And it is new because it still has the plastic in the inside of the band that is protecting the band. So we'll put this back on its little pillow. I guess I should see if it wor- oh, it works! It's running. It has the wrong time zone, but it has the correct time. Wow. And fits in there just like that. This is, this is just nothing short of incredible. This is probably, so far, and I don't want to jinx myself, this is probably the best box that I have gotten from anywhere. I, I just don't know what to pull out next. Okay, here we... <laughs> All right. Here we have... A gimbal stabilizer. If you ever see the stringers on YouTube or YouTubers that are going around filming different things, you'll see them hold onto the stabilizer because it keeps their their film, their video from going this way and this way. That is a nice product. It is a return now, and someone wrote on that there was no return merchandise authorization, so I don't know if they got a refund or not. What do we have here? Gillette Labs, a heated, a heated razor. Really, people? A heated razor? Oh my goodness. 
nice box, but it is an open box. This is exciting. This is so exciting. Look at this. Oh, now this for any man would almost make shaving fun. Look at that. Wow. It's like a, it's like a piece of, it's like a piece of jewelry. And of course, I will have to make sure that, yeah, everything, everything looks to be here, but it certainly has to be spruced up a little bit. The charging cord is just kind of thrown in there. Uh, I don't, I don't see any whiskers on it, so, so that's a good sign. But wow, we, and we can't say it's not a brand name. It is Gillette. And even the brand name products are just as hard for me to get back in the box as unbranded ones. Go, 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 go. There we go. All right. We got to keep on moving because... Oh my goodness, this box is just so packed. Well, we must be in the shaving mood mode. Um, this is by Wall, a very famous, popular, good brand of shaver. But this just isn't any shaver. This just is not any shaver. This is a balding clipper. So if you're balding, if you're balding, this is what you need to keep your bald, to keep your bald going. It even comes with a comb. There is a there is another attachment in there and they even give you they even give you a little toothbrush. No, it's not really a toothbrush. It is of course a cleaning brush for the balding razor. And again, I'm sorry that I keep looking above your head because that's where my monitor is now. I just can't keep my eyes off myself. Anyway, whoa, well, what do we have here? This is definitely a return. Gear the way you'd design it. So we know it's a gear. We know it's gear, I should say. But gear can mean anything. This is uh, this is really a this is really a mystery box for sure. Okay. Well, we have a very long, classy-looking strap. We have a power plug that's in the bottom. And then in, in the top, there is, oh, I was going to say, there's another power plug, but it snuck out the bottom when I wasn't watching. And, oh, I see, I see, I see. It's in here, the strap, I don't know if you can see it, or, there you can see it, the strap is attached to that gizmo and if i had to desi design a gizmo i would design it just like that i guess if i knew 
what I was designing. Um, it is really difficult. It is really difficult to know what something is if you have no knowledge of it. But it is something to do with a dog. And I see where it says about contact points. And I, I do seriously, oh, there's the charging cable. I do seriously hope that it's not something that you, that you shock your dog with. Uh, because I'm really not, I'm really not in favor of that. I think there are different ways to, to train your puppy. And with my luck, I'd end up shocking myself. It would, to me, be a stun gun for me. Look at this. We have a Bosch from the people who... Okay, I froze again. Did you notice? I froze again. They said, do your videos this way because the picture quality will be much better. They said, they said. But now I'm frozen. But now I'm frozen. Am I unfrozen yet? Okay. This is Bosch from the people who make the good staples and staple guns. But in this case, we have a set of screwdriver. Oh, excuse me. Sounds like I've had a few screwdrivers and I don't even drink. Anyway, we have a professional screwdriver set. And I'm going to keep on rolling. Uh, you know, if I freeze, well, just pretend that I'm not frozen. Well, uh, somebody just kind of it's called Catch and Deals, and it seems like, uh, seems like I caught another type of um, maybe a, a hair thingamabob. I, I would guess it says keep blades oiled. So I'm going to say that this is a hair clipper, but uh, I don't see anything else. Oh. I don't see anything else that goes with it. It says easy style on it. There was a warning on this box that this box may contain sharp instruments. And indeed, it does. Where are we here? We have a, a knife, which does feel to be very sharp and you can clip it on yourself because you never know when you might need to clean a fish or something or gut a deer or oh that sounds so awful doesn't it what do we have here oh oh it's the box for the knife it is a smith smith and wesson knife now smith and wesson also is a very good brand. I don't, for some reason, this, some of the stuff seems to be stuck. Oh, this is heavy. It is a Ryobi, Ryobi variable speed jigsaw. Can you believe it? It's a jigsaw. And Ryobi is a really top tier brand. Now the box has seen better days, but uh, may, it, it was probably a return, maybe. I'll check it out. But even in this condition, it's tremendous. The box has an endless bottom to it. Uh, the priority service at USPS is going to love this box too. 
We hope you have had an excellent shopping experience. I'm not sure. This is LED, USB, LED, and it says DRJ Professional, and it comes with a coating of dust. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I'm saying oh my goodness, because I don't have a clue. Oh! I believe and always will believe by the way but anyway I believe what we have here is yes indeed look at this projector I was hoping when I saw other people from different places get projectors I was hoping that someday I would get one not for me, but to sell. And uh, it's not just a projector. <laughs> oh, give me strength. It's not just a projector. By the way, there is a huge screen with it. So you know those warm, cozy nights out in the darkness Watch your favorite horror flick. This is the last box. Oh, please, please try to hold your applause to the end. We still have one more box. Oh, and this, this is really a mystery. It has liquidation stickers on it, but we know for the most part, uh, they don't really tell us anything now, do they? So we're going to slice and dice this last box. Am I frozen? No, it doesn't look like I'm frozen. I just go through spurts of being frozen, and hopefully that will subside when the, when the weather warms up here. It is a chef's choice. And you can see the picture there, so I don't really have to unbox it. It is a chef's choice knife sharpener. Sharpener. I thought I was going to have trouble saying chef's choice. I can't even say sharpener. Anyway, these products are so, I think, they are so high in value that... If I can ever in my lifetime secure another Catch and Deals general merchandise box, I will certainly be there in line with my card on fire because this was my first Catch and Box general merchandise mystery box, and I am surely hoping that it won't be my last. As I come up with comps when I finally uh, get some of these products on eBay, uh, I will show you what they sell for because I think that is the most important thing. Not what others sold the item for, but what my items sold for. I think I'm freezing. Yes, I just froze again, didn't I? I think I'm rambling too much. So I am going to end this quickly before I freeze to death. I don't know if I'm going to be able to end this. I'm apparently rambling too much, so I'm going to end this before I freeze to death, and I'm going to wish you all well. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe, like, comment, and take care. And remember, be kind. Bye, everybody.